Greetings everyone, hello and welcome to House Flipper. You probably know about this game by now. It's a cozy great way to escape reality, jump into a renovation company to repair and upgrade houses, decorate gardens with the latest DLC Farm Flipper, even get into farming, animal husbandry and building a farm for the ultimate profit. This is a sponsored video and I'd like to show you all the new things that are coming with the latest DLC Farm Flipper, such as new animals to care for, farming mechanics to harvest your own fields, new tools to work with and 10 unique story orders. If you're interested in this game, don't forget to check out the link in the video description. But without further ado, let's get right into Farm Flippers. Alright, to actually start this DLC, you can either use an existing game file or save file that you already have with an existing company or you're starting a new company like I'm doing here right now. So here we are now on a an em well and not an empty plot. We have a a a shack here after all, right? But this is how House Flipper usually starts. So you're uh, really in the middle of nowhere in a little neighborhood around here, and you can start by just renovating your own little plot. So you're not even renovating stuff from other people. Like this is the actual goal of the game. You're starting to renovate your own plot with your own little shack as a company on it. Um, and from here we can then also start the Farm Flipper DLC. Um, getting into renovating farms and stuff like that so we could go ahead now here and just um you know get rid of the wheat that we have here um and also um gardening already if we like to but of course we're going into my my shack here so i just wanted to show you also some base mechanics that this game offers um that is yeah basically you're you're having houses like this one here um and you 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 have to renovate them right so we have to we have to clean them for example like the stove here Right, we have to clean stuff like the shower and the toilet. Uh, if I if I need that, we have also here the the mirror that we need to fix. There's a desk here with uh, tools on board, right? So these tools we can then use for various tasks, like for example here the moan holder oh, or this this one for the for the grass. We can go ahead and cut the grass looking a bit too weedy all of it here so this we can we can make look it like um a bit more you know tended for so with that the front yard already looks a bit more sophisticated uh, we can also dispose a few more things and right here in my shack so we can continue of course with renovating everything here um, and right in here we do also have a laptop and this is where we can really manage our company right so in that case here let's have a look inside what the laptop offers me and we can see there is a, a new mail we also have a map of jobs available so this is um, right now our very first job here the farm flipper job how very good and we can also follow along the storyline of the base game however um, for this for this video I would like to jump into the the farm DLC of course and as we can see on this map here well not that much we have yet there is one farm up there that we can start with and I should say let's jump into it Where's Molly? If you're looking for the perfect couple, visit our Joe and Lily, say the locals. Inseparable since childhood, happily married and good ranchers too. And yes, sire, they're doing so good. Yet the locals don't know that this morning Joe and Lily found their barn damaged and their favorite cow, Molly, gone. The couple might be able to handle one of these issues, but two at once are too much. I can't believe it. When it all started to come together, this happened. Look at the barn, the roof is gone, the inside is a mess, and our Molly has vanished. We got her from the Happy Ranch when she was a calf. She's the apple of my eye. Joe's been trying to find her for hours now. I must join him. It may be easier to spot her from my plane. Meanwhile, sort out the barn, please. It'll be one thing less to worry about now. Must be some rich farmers there, having a plane. Where's Molly? That is our first story mission that we have. And yep, here we are now on a new farm. And we also have, have unlocked a new tool that is the mop. I'm enthousi uh, enthusiastic about my mop. This is the beautiful house they have. Nothing to renovate in there as far as I can see. But the barn it is. And we also got, well, one of the new animals that we have here, the cow. And we can even interact with them. We can pet them. Bonding. And we can even milk them. 
Would the money belong to me then? Hmm. Yes, it would. Let's collect it and get some three credits out of that. Very good. There's the barn. And let's have a look inside. It's not looking great, to be honest. It has 132 square meters. And we can already see our tasks now. Place a fence in a gate. Remove the trash. Sell objects like the moo milk container. And also buy an object. But that is something for later. So let's go ahead and just have a look here. There is, for example, something that we can clean already. Spider webs. This hasn't been used in a long time here. Also spider web here. There's some things here to dispose of. Planks, barrels. And there's the... Is that the milk? That's milk cans, right? That we need to get rid of. Just to show you how depth this game can be, we can even move the pla uh, the these pillars here, right? Move them somewhere else. I wonder if the roof goes down then. It's, it looks like it's a carrying pillar. Yeah, also cleaning the windows might be a good thing. So that is a rather tedious task. You might also say relaxing. There you go. We even got pictures of cows in this barn. Yeah, we can also clean the containers then outside. Like this milk container here. I think there's a second one. Yep, there, there's the second one. And we can also sell them for $1.40. There you go. Making a bit of cash here. There's the second one. Uh, steel cattle through. We also need to sell. There you go. The sliding gate we need to sell. That's interesting. With the selling tool, we can also just remove items that are not sellable, really, right? So we can make two things in one. Either I sell it or I just remove it. What is that? Oh, that's dung, I guess. That was quite a lot. Ah, there's more on the other side. Alright, we also need to build a Burganda garage door. Uh, that would be then in here, I think. So there is nothing now. I removed the old rusty gate. And let's just have a look. We have a tablet with us. And in the tablet, I can um, see my objectives, of course. We can also purchase new things. So, for example, down here, we have the Burganda garage door um, that we need to purchase for this. So let's go ahead and have a look at that. We can then decide on a, on a nice color. Uh, I think I like this one here together with a nice wooden color also go with some red colors oh yeah absolutely let's go ahead with that one thousand four hundred dollars it would cost me we got six thousand five hundred on the budget so uh, hopefully it's not the most expensive one that we can have here right and with that we can build it and there it is in all its glory a new gate and let in the fresh fresh air of the day Alright, looking not so bad anymore here. We have cleaned all the windows. There's still some some of this one there. Can we clean this? Yes, very good. I think that's just some water. There you go. And with that, we have reached 51%. Further removing all the trash. And there is also, I think we need to sell that, right? Yep. Both of them. It's all old stuff that no one needs anymore. Also the planks here. And then we got the fences, right? So we also have the object of building some fences here. Place the fence. Let's have a look at that. There we have them. We even get some... The ones that the customer wants, right? The Jarmer enclosure. And that would be one of them. We could also go ahead with a red fence or something like that. And then I'm probably going to place it along the wall here. There you go. Let's 
Same thing on the other side. Very good, and the fence with that has been completed. A little bit more trash. With that, we have cleaned all the trash, or removed all the trash, and then there's still some more cleaning to do here. Ah, it's getting a bit more difficult. Down here on the ground, there's not that much to clean anymore, so we could also go just upstairs here. But as we can see, there is a whole new room here for us that we can renovate as well. So there we have new objectives like remove the trash once more. It would be on the ground here. And the same goes for the other side. Also lots of things here that we still need to clean. Very good. Over here we should build or we should purchase a Garada window. Let's have a look at that. There it is. Uh, let's also go with the red color since we've already done that with a yeah black wind uh, black surrounding. And I think this would be good. And there we have it in all its glory. Mm, another thing we should do is lay floor tiles so to Umberto Dark panels. That is this one here. Umberto Dark. There we go. We can purchase that. And now we need to kind of like draw it then over the, the whole floor. Let's try it with that area first. There you go. There you go, and the whole ground floor has been renovated with that as well. We will also need some light switches. Um, let's go ahead with, the, I think the base one is fine. Can we have it on the on the plank there? This would be ideal. I mean, we'll also have it there. Perfect. Beside the entrance, of course, we should have it. Then we do need some lights. Have a look at that. There you go. I think we'll need to place them right here somewhere. Above the entrance would be a good spot. Below the windows. And on the other side as well. There you go. Can we turn it on now? Fantastic. <laughs> Let's let's save some power there though in the meantime. Ah, come on, let me turn it off. There it is. We will also need various ingredients, various objects for the animals then. So a bed. We can also rotate this around. So somewhere here that's cozy for them. We need three of them. The other side and probably also in the middle. Wooden cattle throw, and let's put just that one there. Something for them to drink. Align it to the wall. One side and on the other one. So they have a nice view over the countryside from here. Some buckets that we need. Let's have them at the entrance. Very good. Also some round water throw. Quite costly those things. And a wheelbarrow. There we have it. Wheelbarrow. And let's just try to... This one here. Perfect. With that we purchased everything that we need for this room. On the outside, um, there is also something we need to do. And that is fixing the roof. So right over there we have... A ladder. Let's get up here. 
and use it. And we can then move upwards, as we can see. Perfect. And there is a grappling hook. Congratulations, you have unlocked a new tool. If you want to move fast, use the grappling hook. Aim at an item within a distance of 10 meters. Press the mouse button and fly. While using the hook, you can paint and plaster the outside walls. So that is my latest tool that we have now. And up here, we also have then the roof that we need to fix. There you go. And with that, we have completed the job in the garden already for the first task. And we could also try the grappling hook. There you go. Like this a lot. For fast traveling. Also to get to distant places, of course. Boop, like that. This is an amazing feature, to be honest. <laughs> and yeah, with this barn here completed, we could complete the job now and move on to the next task. Also get us some cash, of course, in with that. I love the grappling hook. I'm going to play around with that, enjoying the countryside as this day is coming to an end. I hope you enjoyed this a preview of the Farm Flipper DLC that is available now on Steam. So if you're interested in this game, have a look at the link in the video description. Enjoy!